fellow toy hunters, Kelly here from Vintage Toy Hunter. Welcome back to our channel. If you're new to our channel, please make sure to hit the subscribe button down at the bottom. Today we're going to be doing a room tour of my half of our toy room, which includes all of the things that we have on display on the table here, as well as these two shelves right here. Next week we're going to give you a tour of the guy side shelves, which is my husband's display. He'll walk you through those next week, but for today we're going to really focus in on the girl side toys. I'm really excited to show you guys some of my favorite toys from my childhood. And a lot of these ones, the things that really got me collecting them is the TV shows. What I have going on in my collection is gonna be My Little Pony that we're gonna check out today. Shiro down here at the bottom. And then we're gonna jump over to the Rainbow Bright and Wuzzles, which is my Care Bears, and then my Popples. And then I do have some Fraggle Rock Pops up here at the top, and then finish off with the rest of my, li my Little Ponies. Give me just a minute, I'll be right back with you guys to start you off with my toy right, guys, so we're going to start here with the stuff I have on display. Say hello to Agnes, our little bull terrier. She's going to help us out today. So, obviously she's very bored, bored with what I have going on. Um, I have three My Little Pony lunch boxes, and I love every single one of them. The thermoses, I do have the thermoses for each one of those um, set up here. This one I wish it had a little bit less scratching on it from use, but it's still really cool to have. And I do love this one with the carousel ponies on it. These cards that you can see in the background, and these ones were lacing cards. You can see holes where you would lace string through. I haven't laced any string through them. I want to frame them and put them up on the wall because I love them. I have these um, unused pillow kits that you can use from the 80s. And it has both sides, so I have Wish Bear and Funshine Bear here. The ponies that you see on display are all ponies that aren't added into my display yet because I need to give them a good wash before I put them onto my display. And below I have a G1 My Little Pony puzzle with the brother ponies on it. Fancy Pants ponies on it right here. I have a G2 puzzle right here, both which are complete. I, have deci I haven't decided if I'm going to frame them or not yet, but for now they're just how they are. You watched our last video, I don't know if you watched our last video yet, but um, the prizes for my blind boxes. I have this little cutie right down here, which I was able to get off a lady from Canada and Instagram, and I was super excited to get her because she wasn't one that I was expecting to ever get. She's pretty cool because when you pull on her tail, her eyes close. If I remember correctly, this one is Sweet Dreams. She's pretty darling. She does have a little bit of a hair trim, but I did not mind that at all because she's not easy to find. So I was just excited to be able to get her in the first place. So let me get my ladder out and then we're gonna start going through all of these shelves. Guys, we're back and up on the ladder. So the first thing in my display up here, I put the collector case. I love this case and I love the dream castle on it and the ponies and graphics on it are so cute. I just think it's kind of funny that they did use a couple ponies twice in there, I noticed, because um, Parasol's here and then she's also right there. This little lady is in both these two spots. So I thought that was kind of funny that they used the same ponies twice because there's plenty of ponies they could have put on there besides just those you. And then my next um, carry case. This one's the smaller one of the two. And then the other one I'm still on the hunt for is the baby's carrying case. And I put my collector ponies with the show stable. And on the collector ponies, one of my favorites that I have is this little gem. And she's my favorite because she's the only flat foot that I have so far. And I do have some of the accessories in the back in there. Um, just kind of put in. I just don't have enough space on my display to really pull it out and display it. As far as plushies go, I only have these two so far. Um, I got both of these for, I think it was my birthday last year. My husband got them for me. So I have this Firefly um, here that I love. And up here we have my Pops from the Fraggle Rock Brock collection that my husband got me. I was super excited to get these guys. My favorite is Sprocket because it's a Toys R Us exclusive and, well, unfortunately Toys R Us is gone, so it just makes it all that much more special to me. So we're going to start here with my plushy collection starting at the top. I'll just break you down with some of my favorites on each shelf, some of the things that I collect. So let's get started with those. 
All right, so here is my Popo collection, which is what we're going to be going over next. And I adore Popples. I've got four of them set up. I've got these little pufflings right here. On this shelf, my favorite is probably Puffball Popple. She is super, super soft and in really, really good shape. And then on the next shelf down, I have these guys. So I have a couple more Pufflings. And then I have the Flower Popple here. This little guy that I found at a thrift store, the Popple Lunchbox. My husband was able to find for me at like a local garage sale. And I absolutely love the graphics on this. It's a tin lunchbox, which you don't see a lot of those, especially with such great graphics and such minimal um, resting on the side. So that's my favorite addition to my Popple collection. And below that, I have all of my Care Bears. On the first shelf, I have my PVCs in the front, and then I have this one ceramic birthday bear that I found. It has the sticker from the bottom. These three 13 inch, if I remember the size correctly. My favorite is Wish Bear, just because of all the detailing on his tummy, his symbol. And I really do love the deca plate that I have in the background. That one I found when I was out thrifting recently. The, the next shelf down, I have some of the second run, the Earth style Care Bears. So I have two of those guys, and then I have two of the miniature ones, the PVCs, and this little, I think this was probably a cake topper because it's like a lightweight plastic. And this one's vintage, a uh, funshine bear, and we've got birthday bear here in the cloud car. And I think my favorite piece on here is probably the cloud car because it's the first vehicle I got from um, the Care Bears playset. And then lastly, on this display stand are my Rainbow Brights and a couple of stolaway Wuzzles shoved in there and one little cute um, Beanie Baby Unicorn. First shelf, I have three Wuzzles. One of them is actually my husband's I stole from his collection to add to my collection because it's the only Wuzzle he had. Um, and then this little pencil topper is pretty cute. I couldn't pass them up when I saw them in a bag at Save Puppy Bright. I'm a dog lover. As you can tell from my bull terrier that invaded the beginning of the video. This little cutie, which is one of the Taco Bell toys, still with the tag on. They kind of make a funny little noise when you shake them. And then behind that, I have this vintage Rainbow Bright pillow, which is really awesome. Shelf down, I have my dolls. And I have two Rainbow Brights. Unfortunately, she's missing her rainbow. So and then I have the mini Rainbow Bright, which is missing her dress completely. And I have Shy Violet, which I love. She's complete and in really good shape. And this cute little Thai Beanie Baby unicorn, because I love unicorns. So. We finished with the plushies, and we're going to jump in next with She-Ra. And I'm just starting out my She-Ra collection, so it's a little, little lean. But I have one of the best pieces, I think, is Crystal Castle. It is pretty much almost complete. I got that this year from my husband for my birthday and it's one of the best gifts I've ever got because it was pretty exciting. So on this shelf I have all the pieces that go along with Crystal Castle. Um, the table with the stools, the elevator which is working, I have it kind of halfway up. The fireplace is back in there, dresser vanity, treasure chest, the bed with the blanket and pillow, weapons rack here, the flag which I wasn't able to put on top. I didn't want to have it get crunched any more than it already has been. As far as characters go, I have Catra on here. We've got Frosta. Shira herself. And then we have Crystal, Crystal Sun Dancer, if I remember correctly. I might have that wrong. Next, we have Frosta and then bow and that sums up all of my she-ra display all right guys so i saved my favorite part for last so we're gonna start off with my little pony one of the reasons why i collect my little ponies and they're the largest part of my collection is as a kid it was my favorite show of all time anytime the my little pony movie was on i was taking the remote from my sisters and fighting them for control of it so that i could make sure that we got a chance to watch it from start to finish I remember saving my pennies and doing my 
chores and making sure my homework was done and getting good grades so that every time I could go to Kiwi Toy Store and Toys R Us and spend that buying a brand new pony. As an adult, I have restarted my collection because unfortunately all the pieces that I had from my childhood had vanished, been given away in yard sales. So I started from scratch about a year and a half ago and this is where I'm at now with that. And we're gonna just kind of tour through where I'm at and show you some of my favorite pieces. So we're gonna start on the bottom shelf here. I'm gonna kind of just pan over some of the ponies because there's a lot shoved in the back here that are a little bit harder to see. And then we'll get into it. So the first part of my collection, which actually really is one of my favorite parts of my collection, are the little pieces of merchandise that they came out with in the 80s and 90s for toys for kids. Um, for instance, like this little piece here is something that I love and it really honestly was just probably something you got from someone's birthday party for showing up and I just think these things are the coolest things ever because a lot of times they probably just got tossed in the trash and have one of those is really awesome. I have the My Little Pony sewing machine here and then I have some watches and these little stamps are really cute. I've got this little tiny dish. Um, with these two little kids play cups, but my favorite piece from this collection is actually this right here This I love like really you you use these up and then they got thrown in the trash So to have three of these birthday party invitations with tic-tac-toe on them They're just the cutest things ever. It is just so cute with tic-tac-toe on the inside It has the space to put all the information for the party on it and then just on the back side, 1987, favorite parts of my collection. I think I'm probably gonna frame one of them and then keep the other ones in the bag um, over here on my display. So the first group that I have here are the family ponies. And I'm slowly starting to collect all of those. And the Sweet Celebrations is here. I have the baby and the mom. And then I have the flower one. Sorry, I'm totally forgetting her name at this moment. If you guys know her name, shout it down below. Remind me because it is not on my mind at the moment. Mommy Apple Delight and Daddy Apple Delight. This Daddy Apple Delight I actually got from someone um, out of the country that I actually had traded some Polly Pockets for. And he is my first big brother pony, so I really love him. Behind that, I do have this little coin bank here. Um, these three ladies here, which I have set up. And these ones are kind of have a little bit of a gimmick. I'm sure you guys know if you have them in your collection. If you take and wind up their knob and let go their tail will spin and then they kind of just dance a little bit I really love them it's my favorite pony pose out there um well my second favorite I guess but it's one of my favorite pony poses I have Sundance with her bridal I have twice as fancy Sundance which if she goes out into the sun her color will her hair changes colors in the white streak Behind them, I have my princess ponies. So I have Princess Sunbeam in the back here, and Princess Primrose, and then Princess Royal Blue is back here with the eyelashes. And then I have my two bride ponies, so I have both brides. i kind of scoop her out of the way um, with the wedding cake. On to shelf number two of my My Little Pony collection. We'll start on the end here. We have a wave runner here. She has the typical frizzy hair issue with the color changing hair going on. She does have a little bit of a haircut in the back, but you can't see it when it's sitting, so I have her in my collection. She has really nice symbols and is in really good shape otherwise. And then I have the sparkle pony here, and then behind her I have the Firefly that came with the movie, and she has the non-glittery symbols. I also have the glittery symbols Firefly that I'll be showing you guys in a little bit. Last one I have is the only Sweetheart Sister Pony I have is Sun Glory. She has the cutest crimped hair. I have been afraid to wash it because I don't want to lose the crimping on it. And just the prettiest eye makeup. She's so cute. So I have her on there. We move back to two details here. She is the only one I have in the series so far. A couple flaws on her, um, but I keep her nonetheless. She has really cute curly hair that she came that way. I didn't really want to mess with it. Behind her, we have Pretty Beat, which doesn't seem to like to stand, so I have to lean her up against the shelf. 
She has amazingly long hair and it's super soft and silky. And the colors on these um, ponies are so bright. Yeah. Um, secret surprise pony that I have is Secret Star. And we found her at a thrift store. And when we found her, we were lucky enough that she had this on her neck still. And when I tried to gently pull it off, it did break, which is not uncommon for these, but I still have it. It still works. The only thing that she's missing is her saddle, unfortunately. So if anybody out there has a saddle for Secret Star, please let me know because I'd like to complete her. I have the final group in the collection up here. And these ponies, if I remember correctly, from re were from year two and year three. And they all have the glitter symbols on their sides. And a few of my favorites, no surprise if you guys heard me earlier, is going to be Powder here. And then High Flyer is probably one of my favorites in this collection. I absolutely love her purple glittery symbols. They're super glittery. And with that neon pink, like fuchsia pink hair, she is just so cute. I absolutely love this pony. And I also have Heartthrob, which is a very popular pony in this line. I had to recurl her hair because her hair was kind of a little messy when I got her. But she has really nice glittery symbols also. So we have Medley, which unfortunately has a little bit of a hair trim. We have Surprise, which definitely has a hair trim. Somebody thought her tail would look a lot cuter, shorter. And the last Firefly, which this is the original Firefly that came out. And then the other Firefly next to her, you can tell they're very different in color. They're very different in the prints on them. Hers is the glitter symbol, and then hers is non-glittery, and then the poses are really different. So this one is the movie one, and then this one is the original one from the toy line. So this shelf that we're going to start on here is shelf number three, and this shelf got prime real estate for me, and the reason behind that really is the fact that the only playset I ever had as a child was the nursery playset. I can't remember if I got it from Santa, I'm pretty sure Santa did because he, he's a pretty amazing guy so I think he's the one that dropped it off for me. And I just remember playing with this all the time with my sisters and so I had to make sure that it had prime real estate on my shelf and got opened up so that you could see all the ponies in it because it just brings back so many memories Guys, for so me. we're on to shelf number three. Which I think I maybe I'm telling you guys that every shelf I do is my favorite shelf. But I really love this shelf. This is the only display that I actually opened up and set up with the baby ponies. And I absolutely love the nursery. I have a lot of fond memories from my childhood. So let me just show you guys what I have going on on this shelf. Here I have a pony watch. Well clock I guess. That still has the packaging but it's been opened up. This one's from 1995. It is baby cotton candy with her little charm bracelet on inside of the baby buggy. Unfortunately, I don't have any of the extra accessories that went with this, like the lace that went around the side and the lace that went around here, um, or even the blanket that went inside. I don't have that either. Um, I do have one crib blanket here, just waiting for a crib to put it in. I am that crazy lady that bought an entire bag of Saver stuff just for this blanket when I saw it in there. I think we all have maybe done that before. Hopefully I'm not the only one. And then the next shelf over, I've got a couple of my babies set up. Baby Starburst. And she came with the cutest natural curl in her hair. I'm thinking this is her factory curl that she had from the time she came out of the packaging. But she is the cutest little thing. We have Brandy, which unbeknownst to me comes in many varieties. I just found this out the other day. So this little girl comes with the Home Sweet Home set, which is like the show stable but in pink. And then there's a different color Brandy that comes with the actual show stable. So I'm going to have to start finding all the Brandies for all the different play sets. This is Baby Sparkle Firefly. This little lady I've had with me the longest out of any of them. I've had her for probably 12 years. I got rid of my collection and had to start over. She was the only one that I held on to. And I absolutely love her. I like her symbol. She's darling. Her is baby Valentine, which was a mail order pony. And this is the white Valentine pony. That we have Yo-Yo here. And we have baby Ember next to her, which unfortunately baby Ember has a little bit of a 
buzz cut here going on. UK school time ponies, which I have three of the four of them. Baby school bag, baby alphabet, and then baby pictures um, or picture day. Can't remember if it's pictures or picture day. They have the cutest little freckles. I have little baby sweet stuff up here. She's one of the ones that has the first tooth, but then she also has the moving neck so her head moves around a little bit, which not a lot of the My Little Ponies have that. I do have a second cotton candy. So I have this little cotton candy in the baby dinosaur suit because I think it is the cutest thing ever. With my nursery playset, I do have a lot of the accessories. Unfortunately, I don't have all of them. Like this little stuffed animal I have. Crib back here. This little guy. And then I also have the attachment that goes on the outside so you can rock it on the outside. The tray and the baby powders on there back with the um, dresser. I have the tub also. But there are a few pieces that I'm still on the hunt for. So if anybody has any nursery accessories that they are looking to get rid of, I am on the hunt. And that wraps up my little baby nursery area. So now we're on to shelf number five. And on my So Soft Ponies, I have a couple that are my favorites. One being Cherry's Jubilee here, because she is virtually near mint with very little rubbing on her. She doesn't even have it really on the edges of her feet or on the tips of her ears. And I didn't even have to wash her when I got her. This is the natural curl. She's so soft crumpet, which I absolutely adore crumpet. And this one, lucky enough, I found with Cherry's Jubilee in a bag at a Savers. I think I probably squealed. I think my husband probably walked away from me on top of that. And this girl also doesn't have any rubbing to her flocking really at all because I haven't even had to do anything to her hair. Her hair is pretty much probably how it was when it came out of the packaging or close to it. So these two girls are my favorites of my So Softs. I also have Twilight here which is a harder one to find. She does have a few rubs but they're not anything too serious um, and a little bit of a head body mismatch. That I have Lickety Split which I did a trade for an extra fizzy I had for this girl with a lady that had her as an extra. She's in really good shape and her pink on her mane and tail is so good. And that is always an area that fades out on these ponies. Any of these light pink manes and tails always turn white. So I was really excited she had that. Same with Twilight that they still have some of that pink in them. The last three ladies I have are in a little bit more of common shape that you would see with the So Soft ponies. With a lot of rubs on them. I've washed this one multiple times and her flocking's actually cleaned up fairly decently, but she still has a lot of dirt on her. And this girl will probably be my deflock project. She all Same with Best Wishes back here. She has a lot of um, flock loss on her. Uh, she looks like she has lipstick on without her flocking. And then Hippity Hop here, which is in pretty decent shape. And then most of it is on um, her muzzle here. But most of her, the rest of her body's in pretty decent shape. The next group I have is my rainbow ponies and it came out with the glitter symbols out with the rainbow hair hence the name the rainbow ponies. So I have four of them up on my display right now. The fifth one is under a process of getting cleaned which I'm actually going to be making a video for you guys to watch. So the first one I have is Wendy. I have Oh, I'm going to say this wrong, probably Moonbeam, Moon something, sorry, Moonlight. Correct me, guys, because I know I'm wrong on her name there. I have Star Flower, if I remember this correctly. She has a little bit of a haircut, but she is a harder girl to find, so I was pleased in the fact that she has really, really bright symbols and glittery symbols. Last is Parasol here, and she has really good symbols as well. Nice hair. No haircut, which is nice. Bow tie here. But she's in pretty good shape. She came in pretty rough condition and took a lot of cleaning to get her looking where she's at now. But she is one of the original ponies. Oh. All right. Lastly on the shelf is these three lovely ladies, which of the lines from My Little Pony, I would say besides the Big Brother ponies, my favorite, favorite line is going to be the Twinkle Eye Ponies. I absolutely loved them. And the reason why I love them so much is the movie. I sh 
were shiny in the movie. And then when you got the toy, they have the twinkle in the eye, which is really cool. This one's fizzy. She's probably the most memorable for most people. She has the cutest little symbols on her. Sadly, with Sweet Pop, she has some eye scratches. If you know how to save her eye scratches, let me know in the comments below. Because I would like to rescue her if I can. If last one in my collection is Locket. And Locket, I was really, really lucky to find. I actually found her with Crumpet and with Cherry's Jubilee because the condition she's in is pretty flawless. I didn't even have to wash her. I didn't dare do anything with her hair because it was so curly and cute. I didn't want to mess with it. But that sums up everything that I have on my fourth shelf. And then we are going to jump off to the final shelf here in just a second. Welcome back, guys. The final shelf of my collection. This one has National Ponies here in the front. I have a Pony Pal and twice as fancy and then my little ballerina ladies here and a couple of my play sets the baby bonnet school of dance poof and perfume palettes behind that i have um, my glow and show pony and then majesty which really she needed to be on the top shelf because she's majesty that came with the dream castle if you had the dream castle as a kid if you watched the movies if you watched the cartoon she was pretty much the leader of the ponies i have her thrown back there for her so we just let her have her royal place right there in the back. Posy Rose and Silky Slipper, are, and they are, are different than the original ponies because they have movable heads, movable legs, they have them posed to be dancing, and then their symbols were on the back of them versus being on their hip like most of the other ponies. I have Soft Steps and Tippy Toes, and these ones were so different in the fact, one, they had the moving heads, the moving legs, but they don't have a symbol at all. There's no symbol on their body anywhere. They're the only ponies I've seen, besides the male order embers, I believe it is, that have no symbol. The only twice as fancy pony that I have in my collection. Um, this is Dancing Butterflies. And unfortunately, she was given a very 80s haircut when she's sitting on my shelf and I style her hair correctly. Can't really tell. It kind of just sits off to the side there. And other than that haircut, she was pretty perfect, so I haven't been brave enough to start styling or redoing any hair on any ponies myself. Maybe one day I will get there. Next to her is Kingsley, which is the only Pony Pal I have. And I love the Pony Pals because they're so different. They're not something that you'd expect from My Little Pony. And the cutest little faces, cutest little personalities, and I just love having those into my collection. The last three ponies I have to show you are three of my absolute favorites. The first one is UK Tootsie. She is different from the American version because her body is white. The hair color is the same and the symbol is the same. The only difference is the color of the body. And then next to her I have Sweet Clover, which I absolutely adore this pony. She is a UK pony as well and she has the cutest color hair the cutest color body, and the darlingest symbol. I don't understand why Hasbro didn't make these for the US, things that were made for other countries that you need to add into your collection. Makes it all the more exciting when you're out there hunting for ponies. And so these guys all came over um, seas to my collection. I was really lucky to get them. This one I have is my Glow and Show Pony, which this girl is I got from Canada. It's actually the same lady that I got Sweet Dreams from. And these ponies, if you turn the lights out in the dark. The symbols inside of them glow. So he is a harder pony to come across and pretty coveted for the fact that she does glow. She does have a haircut and I knew that when I was getting her, but to me the haircut doesn't ruin her at all. And the only other issue she had was some writing on the bottom of her feet. And I have, but other than that, she's pretty flawless. And that pretty much sums up my collection, guys. Thanks so much for going through my collection with me. It really means a lot that you guys take some time to kind of share the collection with me. And really, I'd love to know what you guys have in your collections. If you guys are new to our channel, please make sure to click the subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on any of the videos that we're going to be posting. We do post all of our videos on Sundays. 
So I just want to thank you guys for spending the time with me today. Make sure to check out our social media outlets. We are on Instagram, we're on Facebook. We do have an Etsy shop, buy, sell, and trade, a lot of vintage toys. So if there's ever anything you're looking for in your collection, you can always add it on there. But thank you guys so much, and we look forward to seeing you guys on our channel next week when we go over our boy room tour.